Hello, welcome to the final episode of Draw With Pex, the Animal Alphabet series. Don't worry, I'm not gone forever, just for this particular series. So we're on day 26, we're doing the letter Z. And today we're going to be drawing a zebra with zigzags. We're going to start off with a downwards pair for his head. So, and what I'm looking for is I'm almost looking for a circular bit at the back, come forward for the mouth, like that. And then we're going to put in his ears. So we're going to do one ear on this side. So a petal on one side and then a petal on the other side. So if you think of the level that you want to get to, um, and then just bring his other ear around. And actually, his head is actually, it's like a bit of a cheat because his head's going to start here, but he has this flurry of hair from there. So what we're going to do, we're going to cheat it a little bit. So we're going to bring down our pear shape. And if for the mouth, I want you to pick, so where the point where it gets smaller, think of a central point in between like that and then I want you to do a line coming down and then a line going across so again we're going to go slightly over and that's going to form his mouth and then again come out slightly and then come back as if he's smiling it's his upper lip and then his nostrils are going to be in here so one nostril in there and one nostril in there and then that's going to be the bottom of his mouth which we're basically gonna join together like that. We're gonna do the backwards M for his tongue. We're gonna do nice big eyes, one on this side and one on that side. And then for the hair, so we're gonna do, so it's black and white, right? Because zebras are black and white, like our zebra crossings. And we're gonna do a Harry Potter zigzag in the middle of his head. Because this, this zebra is going to be a little bit different to the others. Whereas, so, because he's going to have a zigzag instead of normal stripes. So we're going to just bring down slightly like that um, from the back of his neck. Go up. For his legs. And come round and we're just going to change the shape slightly because we're going to show his zigzaggy legs his tail so basically that's his bum we're going to do the tail coming out from underneath like that his legs that's his tail and then we're going to basically squiggle off the ends for the hair at the end of the tail so there you have it that is our outline for the and then for the front bit so in between the two so let's say about there that's where his neck's going to be so it comes in and it goes straight into the first leg so again imagine our imaginary line So his legs coming in there, joins the back of the body, and then his other leg would technically be a little bit higher. Not too much, because this one's gonna be aligned too. And then they can just literally be slightly in. So the two front legs will be slightly more lowered, like that. And then the two back, just ever so slightly, not too much, just be further down below and then we can do his zigzag patterns the 
generally. I know zebras are black and white, but you can color them, color them in however you want. We'll do the inside of his ear on both sides, inside of his eyes. Do you know how to do them now? And then we're gonna carry on his hair and it's gonna go all the way to there. So we're gonna carry on his black and white stripes to the back there. And then if you want to, you can add some little triangles in the hair just to show that it's not just one big block of hair. And that's our zebra. Um, and he needs maybe some zigzags on his face. Um, and I guess he can just have some grab our outline pen so we can start outlining so we're going to start off with the top part of his head and we're going to go all the way down towards the eye and then we're going to basically draw in the eye which is nice too big colored bit and then we're going to do his eyebrows eyelashes just cut the top part of his eye off we're going to do his Harry Potter zigzag in the middle of his head and then for the main I'm just want you to do a slight curve to the first line bring it around and then do these tiny V's that I was telling you about into the hairline. We're gonna do this side of the ear and then the inner part. So we're gonna do the next part of his ear on this side. So zebras are obviously renowned for their black and white stripes and a group of zebras together are called a dazzle. And there's three different species of zebras. So this is the curve I was telling you about. So we're trying to think of the angles properly. So we're gonna curve it around, go around, and we're just gonna lift a little semicircle there for the nostril, and we're just gonna match that nostril on this side. And then we're gonna bring it round, upper lip, and then we're gonna come down And then this line is going to join that line. And that's basically going to form your zebra's mouth. Do this three that I was talking about for his mouth. And then inside the nostrils, I'm going to just do a little line. And then I'm just going to join a little line from the eye to the nose part. And that's basically going to form his head. I'm going to give it a little curve there. We're gonna do the first leg. So again, be confident with your lines. Just dip it there slightly. And then for the hooves, come out, and then it goes from low to high, like that. And then we're gonna do his back leg. Hoof. Just give it a little jaggedy bit. Um, and then we're going to continue this main line. So wherever his main stopped. And then don't forget these tiny little triangles that we want. Back of his head. 
into straight into his tail and coming down then we're going to do the back leg from here and then the hoof like that and then we're going to do the other part of the tail which is there And then I'm going to make it quite bushy, but it's up to you how you want it to be. And that's the back of his tail. And then we're going to do, a, so from the circular bit at the back, we're just going to do a little bit, not too much, just a little bit further away, like a centimetre for the far back leg. Same concept, just get his knees in there. And then the hoof. There you have it. Then we're just going to join the front leg up slightly to that leg. And that's our zebra. And now we're going to make our zebra have zigzags. So, fun bit. Okay, so I'm going to give him one zigzag across there like his cheek and then we're going to just form This is the last episode of the animal alphabet series because we're ending with letter Z, day 26. Hope you've enjoyed the whole series and I look forward to seeing your pictures and please do leave me a comment below, let me know your thoughts and uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it and please do subscribe for more videos. There you have it guys, our zebra with zigzags. All right, so until next time, stay happy, stay safe, keep drawing and take care. Look after yourselves, bye.